Hey YouTube, this is iJoeRig Pro and today's video is how to update or restore your iPhone on iOS 5.1.1 while preserving baseband. You want to preserve your baseband if you're counting on a Jevy SIM or Ultra Snow un Unlock so you won't lose it. All you need is Red Snow 0.9.12 Beta 1 or the latest version at that time. I'll have links in the description and uh, your iPhone's IPSW for 5.1.1. I'll also have it in the description. Uh, now let me show you I am on iOS 5.0.1 right there. After this process finishes, it's going to change to 5.1.1 while my baseband remaining for 11.08 right there. Okay, now after you get this, you can continue with us and I'm going to switch to my PC. Okay, as you see on my desktop is Red Snow 0.9.12 Beta 1 and the iPhone 3.1 which is the 4 5.1.1 firmware first thing you want to do is to open Red Snow go to extras and custom IPSW this is the IPSW that you're going to restore with now you want to locate the 5.1.1 firmware and give it a time I'm going to skip through it process takes about five minutes Okay, it's almost done. Right now, all it's doing is making a custom IPSW for it to restore without updating your baseband. And, okay, it's about time. Okay, there you go. Now, here is a very important thing. First of all, it tells you where it was saved. Most likely, it's going to be on the desktop. But, second thing is it, it's warning you that to make sure when you restore you restore with the no bb baseband not with the other because if without it it's going to update your baseband so as you see it is on my desktop no bb 5.1.1 okay go back now and second thing you want to do is put your device into pwn dfu so go to extras again and hit pwn dfu mode not regular DFU mode, it's pwned. This is the same steps as DFU mode. So we're going to do it right now. You're going to hold the power button and home button for 10 seconds. And once it powers off, you're going to let go of the power button, but continue holding the home button for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to give it time until it shows up and it starts running with ultra snow okay should boot up any minute okay there you go exploiting with lime rain and done and it says at the top that in this mode it should accept custom IPSW from iTunes and that means you're ready so you want to close out of Red Snow and open iTunes. Okay, and you can see it says that your iPhone needs to be restored and it's in a recovery mode. So if you're on a Windows, you want to hit Shift and Restore. If you're on Mac, you want to put Option and Restore. And you want to locate the No BB, important, No BB Baseband. You want to press on it. Oops, no BB, and open, and restore. And it'll automatically start restoring. And I'll just skip through it. And once it finishes restoring, I'll continue with you guys. Okay, as you see, I don't have the at and SIM card or the official SIM card. If you do, you can insert it and you're done. If you don't, we're going to have to jailbreak it. And on my iPhone right here, you can see that if we try to activate it, it's going to fail. So just do these process. United States, next, disable, next, 
we can enable it later through settings and insert Wi-Fi password and next again okay and it's going to try to activate but it's not going to go through it just failed so we're going to have to jailbreak it okay and to jailbreak your iPhone you want to close out of iTunes and reopen Red Snow just wait for it to open and you want obviously to connect your device once it once Red Snow shows that it's connected on the bottom you want to enter your device into DFU mode by holding the power and home button for 10 seconds again and once it powers off let go of the power button but continue holding the home button until it shows you that it's in DFU mode okay now as you see at the bottom iPhone 4 DFU mode once it says that hit jailbreak and it'll automatically start jailbreaking it's going to identify then exploding lime rain and upload first stage and second stage okay wait and it'll start jailbreaking okay I'm gonna skip through this also so I won't make it too long for you guys and should finish any minute okay once you get to here you want the most important is install Cydia and like I said before if you have a SAM unlock you want to add your activation ticket now so I'm gonna go ahead and add it and hit next and it'll automatically start jailbreaking after this step everything takes place on your device and then you should be good to go just let this finish and okay once it says done that means the rest takes place on your device and you're gonna get this screen I'm gonna skip through the rest of it and once that finishes your device is gonna reboot and it should power on any minute now okay and if we try to activate it again it will go through so just redo these steps again next next later okay agree agree and don't send next and voila start using iPhone and there you see a fully functioning iPhone and if we go to settings general about you will see my firmware is 5.1.1 right there and my baseband hasn't changed and it is for 11 Oh, eight, right there. If we go over to Cydia, you can see that it is fully functioning and everything works fine. Right there. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them in the comments down below and I will get to you as soon as possible.